what up so as you can see we're back in new york city the bravo had little to no issues at all fuel economy is way better like i said after i changed my fuel filter that definitely was my problem i don't know if the seafoam really made a big difference but maybe it's still working its way out but the car definitely drives a lot better i'm about to go to this k-truck me right now and i should be taking the bravo that is this is the smart decision right now this car i know 100 percent works obviously just drove it all the way from new york city to boston and back with no issues but all the homies at the meet haven't seen the Jimny yet so i'm like you know what i've been doing this yolo lifestyle i just drove a freaking 25 plus road k van of boston what's 30 minutes to long island and 30 minutes back in a Jimny that i haven't drove that much at all i don't even really trust it and my tires as dry rotted as dry rotted could be if i get a flat right now i want everyone at that meet sal all you guys to know that this is 100 percent your fault with that being said though let's drive this Jimny. pray for the best and i see you guys in a couple seconds we made it right, let's walk around really quick start off with this bad boy right here boom then we got this raccoon silver active van five speed ac i know nathan likes this thing we got the honda hx wheels pretty sick and then a lot of people's favorite k truck including one of mine suzuki carry the bigger 15 wheels he has the exhaust nice black limo tint even the windshield light bar i'm thinking of doing something like that for the jimny but i don't know i kind of want to slam it and do nothing off-road related but at the same time i think the way that it's built it looks so sleek like it looks nice and then it's kind of also a little roof rack if i ever wanted to do something like that too then we got a pajero and i'm not gonna lie i actually like pajeros more than i like jimny's not even being a mitsubishi biased guy with the bravo but I kind of like the way they look a little more. I love the little mirror that's on this side. Like, I hate the mirror on that side. I like that this mirror is normal. And then if you need to see further, it has that one. But Mitsubishi kind of just gave it. I don't know if this one is more loaded than mine, but it has, like, the clock up there. It just looks more modern. Like, the interior looks a lot more modern. I think, yeah, it has speakers back there. You know, I love amenities. This one has power windows, too, which would have been nice. But really nice cool color too we got this sandbar i think we've seen this before yeah i think we saw this before pretty cool nice and minty inside although they all have the same headlights even though these two are sandbars but it's pretty sick another sandbar right next to it i'm not sure if i ever saw this one before but five speed again just like me <laughs> has a speaker there people always are like i'm gonna change the radio the radios are the bigger issue the speakers are the bigger issue but another nice sandbar oh wow he has newer mirrors too i've never seen that before like look at the sandbar and then those mirrors those are pretty sick they probably help a lot then we have this suzuki i think this guy said he was a welder so i'm definitely gonna ask him some questions here's some things that pretty sick this is sal's clean <laughs> how clean it is then we have this one that they said this guy just finished and it's pretty sick it just got repainted as you can see super nice bed liner back here is with a gun so it's kind of different i'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick it up but look at this texture in comparison to this one this one you could tell was like done with a brush it's like hard and this one almost feels like hard paint but he has a 15-2 that that truck has. Uh, live bar back there, and then the same fuel tank. It's like those big diesel rigs. These two are pretty sick. We saw this one too. This is the landscaping one. Oh, I didn't even realize this one was here too. The gelato truck. Is the ice cream back here? Oh, uh, I thought he usually has a huge ice cream cone thingy here. I'll put a picture up right now. Save the very best truck for last. It's the pizza one. If you haven't seen that video, click the corner right now. But as you can tell from right here, it's a pizza oven on the back of a K truck. Like, once I throw my first pop up, I'm definitely going to hit him up and get one of these at the show. Oh, okay. 
Like, bro, look at this. Can't get over how cool this is. All right, so here's Nathan in his, I guess you could say new van. Yeah, sort of new, newly on the road. Yeah, I just want to have one question. As someone that has a K truck yes. and now has a K van, I don't know if you drove it enough to know, but how does it feel? So I got to say, this is like my first time really driving it. And I drove it maybe three miles here today. And it was substantially better. Right? Like, it's just more comfortable. This thing has power steering. It's, the heat actually works on it. You can recline your seat. And I can actually put stuff in the back. Like, it's... You, you really can't beat it. Now, this is by far the best part, though. So, if you fold this down here as well... We gotta go to the other side, though. It's now, cool that you don't have to take off the um, headrest. Yeah, that's the best on part. On mine, I have to... Well, mine doesn't do this in the first place, but mine I have to take off my headrest. <laughs> It actually, you just pull this little latch in the front and slide very forward. The front seats actually do fold all the way back. Let's see if I can do it here. Like, <laughs> so it's kind of the. It's I wouldn't cool. say it's like my Bravo. It's not quite like. It's not like my Bravo where you could technically lay down, but it is really cool. But I'm pretty sure you could probably lay down like this though. Yeah. Like if you put pillows here, I'm pretty sure like. For sure, and the like back seats way. also do something similar. So, of course, it's like a million steps now yeah. to get it back, but. The back seats also do go pretty flat. So, I mean, I think this is pretty cool. No, this is Definitely cool. Definitely not as cool as, as the spinning seats yeah. on the sandbars or... But I feel like if you had, like, seats. some type of, like, something here, you might be able to sure. actually get away with laying down. For sure. How is it speed compared to the K-Truck? Definitely faster. You think so? For sure. The five-speed, I... Oh, yeah, you have a five. What about, like, from one to four? From one to four, it's pretty comparable. Yeah. Probably, yeah. It, it was definitely similar, but... You know, it's also a different car, right? You're getting used to yeah. the clutch a little bit and everything, but it's a blast. It's so it, it's probably just as fun as the K truck, but it's a little bit more Practical enjoyable sure. to drive, I would say. Yeah. We got my favorite part here, the the EG Civic cup holders, nice. the pop up, uh, some three D printed stuff. We got who the, made that though? Uh, that was some guy on Facebook actually. Oh, nice. Made that for me. I think his name's Frederick Ginsburg. We can drop his link he yeah. sells these things all over it's like 12 dollars ship or something that's good yeah you can't beat that um and then yeah. i guess last thing what are your plans like right. six months from now so, how will this look got some other small stuff at home got some crossbars for the roof that we're going to be throwing on going to be repainting the wheels blue some something similar to this i'm thinking um, what about the calipers Calipers, probably just gonna repaint like regular color for now, maybe like just gray or black. Nice. I don't don't want them to stand out too much. You're not trying to do yellow like me. <laughs> maybe I'll get some tints because this thing is definitely a bit of a fishbowl. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think we're just gonna gonna kind of enjoy it. We I actually, ironically enough, kind of built this thing up for my mom. She's oh, really? super into these things, and I got this thing. To and it had been sitting in the driveway for a month or so and she was nagging me to fix it up for her so we could drive so that's the plan with this is to just drive it around for a couple months and, and enjoy it so this will be for sale soon though so if anyone is interested you're always welcome to reach out um but yeah i'll be making some videos there's a bunch of stuff that i did on it just a lot of little things that uh, i think will definitely be useful but uh other than that all right pretty much it Appreciate you, bro. So I'm here with Phil and his Suzuki carry, and I just wanted to ask you what made you get a K truck? Honestly, I wanted something good on gas mileage that I'd be able to work. And this truck can work. And you were telling me you're a welder, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So did you do most like um, all of this yourself? Yeah, right? I made I made the roof rack, I made an under the bed box, I made another box on the side. So you made the box or you uh, I bought this box and I had to modify the back. I cut like five inches out of the back. And then you're telling me about this too, right? Yes, uh, I made I made this whole frame for the dump body to actually land on. So I had 2,000 pounds and dumped it. So I know it can, it can hold some weight. Did you know about K-Trucks before you bought yours? No, I was, I really found out about them maybe three days before I drove to Tennessee to buy Oh, you went to, where'd you go to, um, I went to, Duncan? His name was Nicol, Nicholas Rose, I thought, uh, Nicholas something. I went down there, it was the only dump I could find. Okay. And when you find out about these, you want it. So do you drive this every day? Yeah, I drive this daily. And I, you know, I went from spending $90 a week in gas to 30. Did you add anything back here? Oh, you did this too? 
I made this toolbox I didn't make, but yeah, I'm in the middle of making a tonneau cover. And I made the poles to fit underneath when the tonneau oh, cover nice, shut. Nice, nice. Decided to put the 32 ton shackle. Do you actually tow anything? I put a couple of things, I've, I've towed a trailer that had a tongue weight, I think 800 pounds. So, that pretty, t pretty heavy tongue weight. Do you ever plan on selling it? I don't think so. I love it so much, I don't think I could sell it. Yeah, I mean, it, the fact that it's for work, and fun. Exactly. It's definitely a you big bro. You don't get something normally that fits both categories. Yeah. And you were telling me that you can put like, you've put ton of weight back here, right? I've put 2,000 pounds of dirt. I got uh, a yard and a half of topsoil. Wow. Wet. It was a day after it rained, so wow. I know it was at the max. And you drove it? I drove it uh, four towns. I think I picked it up in Amityville, and I live in West Babylon. Oh, wow. So, yeah, you can feel, you can feel the weight, but she's she drives yeah <laughs> but yeah definitely appreciate it thanks yeah. for talking to me Hell we'll yeah, probably man. be in talk soon to get a nice little light bar for the chimney without a doubt yeah i think i'm gonna end this video here shout out to everybody for stopping by shout out to Sal for organizing the meet until next time peace